Alrighty, good evening or good morning or afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another NRL TV video. My name is Cody, and today I am here to give you my round 18 NRL tips of 2024. Now, round 17 just ended. Unfortunately, I only managed to get three of the seven games correct. So below 50%, it is what it is. I got the blues correct, though, so technically four out of eight, but for the... NRL only three out of seven. I got the got the Roosters Roosters one. Um, Melbourne beat Raiders and Knights. Hank Knights managed to win against Parramatta thirty four twenty six. And then for the other games, ugh, I never learned my lesson, do I? Broncos uh, four in a row. Warriors were too good. Dolphins shocking up, um, shocking game against the Dragons. They scored the first try and that was it. And Dragons scored tw twenty points in the second half. Uh, Pemrith going down the Cowboys. No Origin players except for Osayo, and Cowboys had no players f from Origin backing up. And they did it again, like they did against the um, uh, Roosters weeks ago. I'm surprised, honestly. But, um, oh well, can't, can't get all of them. Anyways, hopefully we got a full round of NRL this week. Let's hope we can get a perfect round. Haven't gotten a perfect round yet, but hopefully I can get one this week. Anyways, if you're new around here, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We are less than 10 subscribers from reach, reaching 1,600. Thank you all very much to have recently subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you all. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, with, with, with all the talking out of the way, let's get into the first game of two, rounds 18. And the first game kicking off on Thursday night. We have a Thursday night game once again between the 16th place Parramatta Eels and against my boys, 14th place South Sydney Rabbitohs. Eels, unfortunately, coming off another loss, this time to Newcastle. It was a really great game um, to watch. Eagles losing 34-26. And as for my boys, come, we come off our third and final bye of 2024. The week before, we won four in a row. We beat the Sea Eagles, held, holding them scoreless 14-0. Really terrible game, but we held mainly, mainly scoreless, and at least we won four in a row. Very proud of my boys. Unlikely top eight. Here we come, but I don't know at this stage. We still need a few more wins on at least to really consider making the top eight. But we're getting there. Anyways, the odds at the moment have got the teams close. The Rabbitohs are the favourites at a dollar eighty nine, and the Eels are at a dollar ninety five. Excuse me. In the past ten games between the two, Rabbitohs have won eight of the last ten which includes winning set, um, eight of the last nine games. Eels have been the bogey team to us. Or rather, Eels have been the bogey side to us, as Eels have not had a good record against us recently. Eels have lost nine of the last 12 games against us. Yeah, nine of the last 12. And last time the Eels beat us was last year, 36-16 at Allianz, and then... Um, last time before that was 2019 when they won, beat us 26-14. And also another thing, um, every result since 2020 have been decided by 13 plus. The last time it was decided by 1-12 was in 2019, which that was their Eels um, won that 26-14. This game is also taking place at Combank. We have won three of the we have won three of the four games we've played at Combank first at Eels. We only lost the first encounter uh, between that between us and the Eels at Combank, which was back in 2019, 26, 14. Since then, we've won three in a row against the Eels at Combank. So, obviously, I will back my boys to win this one. Just like round 12, Rabbitohs 13 plus. Scoreline, we will go 36, 18. Try scorers for both. We will go Latrell Mitchell, of course. And for the Eels, we will go Dylan Brown. So, up the Rabbitohs. See you there on Thursday as well. Vlog coming out for that. 
Alrighty, now we move on to the two Friday games. The first one kicking off at 6 p.m. up at in Coss Harbour. Yes, that is right. Coss Harbour International Stadium or CDX or whatever it's called. Sharks taking their annual home game up to Coss Harbour. They've done this for three times already. They've played the Titans there twice, funny enough, and the Sharks have won on both occasions. And they played the Knights in, in the other occasion and... Sharks have won all three games there so far. Titans still unsuccessful in Kosava. Anyways, Sharks ooh, losing to the Bulldogs in a good golden point thriller, losing 15 14 from a Matt Burton field goal. And as for Titans, oh boy, Titans. They come off their third and final bye the week before. Unfortunately, they. Killed the Warriors 66-6 up on the Gold Coast, which that's also the Titans' biggest ever win in their club history. And I think as well, it's their biggest win for any Gold Coast franchise since 1988. So for every version of Gold Coast side, that, that's the biggest win in the Gold Coast history. That's That was terrible. Warriors didn't show up for that, for that game against the Titans, but I guess good on the Titans. Currently, they are in 15th, get with the Sharks in third place. Now, at the moment, the Sharks are favourites at $1.39. Titans are at outsiders $3.04. Like I said, this game is taking place from Coss Harbour at Coss International Stadium. That's what it's called. This will be the third meeting between the two at CEX. Right. Anyways, in the past 10 games between the two, Sharks have won nine straights against the Titans. Last time the Titans won was in 2017 against the Sharks, where they won 30 points to 10. So Sharks giving giving the wood up, up against the Titans. That's what I like to see. And this is also actually their first game this year against each other. Um, these two will play against each other later in the year, next month, about roughly in a month's time. So that's... Round 23, round 24, something around there. 22, 23, I think it is. But, wow. Good on the Sharks. But, no, for this game, I think Sharks should bounce back. I'll go Sharks to win 1 to 12. Sharks to win by 10. Scoreline will go 30 points to 20. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I know Sharks lost by 1, but I think they should they should bounce back at least. I know Titans got 66 last time, but they're not going to do it this time. They're not going to win. So as try scorers, we'll go... We'll go Thomas Hazleton from the Sharks, and we'll go Camparo from the Titans. So Sharks to win Sharks to win by 10. Now we move on to the main event, Friday night game. The second grand final rematch, we have the 10th place Brisbane Broncos against the second place... Hemrith Panthers. Broncos, without their Origin Stars, went down to the Warriors 32-16 over there at Mount Smart on the weekend. Uh, why did I bother tipping Broncos, honestly? And, I mean, because Warriors lost by 60 points, but obviously I'll get to that when I get to the Warriors. Um, yeah, Broncos, four in a row um, losses now. After making the grand final last year, now they've lost four in a row. And they're outside the top eight as well, in 10th. Shiz. And as for Panthers, lost to the Cowboys by 10 in wet conditions, 16-6. Credit to the Cowboys. They deserved that win. But, jeez, that was horrible from Panthers. And they had all but Isaiah Yo resting. I mean, fair enough, but, jeez, that was a horrible game to watch. Anyway, no shock here. Um, Panthers are favourites of $1.63. Broncos, $2.63. Earlier game this year between the two, it was the first grand final rematch. Penrith got their revenge winning. Uh, sorry, Penrith still won. Sorry, sorry I was thinking of the others. By the way, sorry. Penrith won 34-12 after, getting, after losing to the Broncos at Penrith last year to get their revenge when they won 13 12 There you go. Said it the other way. But... Obviously, this is the second grand final rematch between the two. And no doubt, this will be a one-sided affair for one team. Anyways, Pemriff, in the past 10 games between the two, 
have won seven of the last ten, which includes winning seven of the last eight games. Last time, Pem last time Broncos have beaten the Panthers at some court was in 2019, where the, they won 24-12. So Penrith have won their last four games versus the Broncos at some court, which is in, I was surprised to see about, but obviously giving the head-to-head -head between the two at the moment, no surprise there, but Broncos are looking to break that streak against the Panthers on Friday. Who do I have winning for this one? It's... I want to say Pem I want to say Broncos, but I don't know if they're going to set their five game losing streak. I don't see Penrith going. I don't see Penrith losing two in a row. I mean that would be great, but um, I don't see Penrith lose two in a row, and everyone will be back as well. I think Nathan Cleary is still another week away. We we'll have to wait and see. I think he won't be playing this game, and as for the other Broncos um, players, they should return um, for. Later in, for, they should return for this game as well. Anyways, try to score off both teams. We will go. Hmm, we'll go James Fisher Harris for Penrith, and for Broncos we will go. We'll go um, Corey. They're uh, not Corey. So we'll go Cobo for the Broncos. Anyways, Broncos um, Penrith the win by eight, and scoreline will go twenty two fourteen. All right, now we move on to Super Saturday. The first of three games kicking off at 3 p.m. from a core stadium. We have the fifth place, yes. The fifth place Canary Bankstown Bulldogs against the 13th place New Zealand Warriors. Bulldogs getting a win over the Sharks, remaining undefeated at home games at a core stadium this year. Oh, my goodness, gone point from Matt Burton field goal, 15-14. What a game that was. That's for the Warriors, bouncing back after they got destroyed against the Titans weeks ago. Um, this time winning 32-16 over the Broncos at Mount Smart. It was good to see that they got a win. I didn't expect that to happen, but it's whatever. At the moment, Dogs are the favourites at $1.49. Warriors are outsiders at $2.63. In the past 10 games between the two, Warriors have won eight of the last ten, which includes winning the last six games. The last time the Dogs won against the Warriors was in 2018, where the Bulldogs beat them 27-26, which, funny enough, that was the last time the Bulldogs beat the Warriors at a core stadium as well. They've played two previous games. they played three previous games at ANZ or, or, or core stadium since 2018, and... Bulldogs have only won one of those occasions. But they're undefeated at home. I can definitely see that happening this week. So this was this is actually going to be a tough game to call, honestly. I mean, Warriors did bounce back, but I don't trust them at the moment. Um, dogs, I think Dogs will win this one. Dogs to win 1-12. Dogs to win by 10. Scoreline 26-16. Try scorers for both. We'll go chuckle, chuckle nickel clock stuff for the... Warriors and for the Bulldogs, we'll go Matt Burton to score. So, Dogs to win by 10. Alrighty, now we move on to the 5.30 game. Taking place from Leichhardt Oval in Sydney, we have the new last place. Yep, West Tigers are back in last once again after they were demolished 40 points to 6 against the Roosters in 17th, playing against the first place Melbourne Storm. Melbourne Storm come getting a win over the over Ra Raiders, winning sixteen, no twenty points. Uh, fuck, I think it was sixteen six. Okay, yes, it was sixteen six. So we didn't realize we had two sixteen six scores for round seven, and that's that's nuts. But yes, Melbourne winning over Canberra in Melbourne, sixteen six. It's first versus seventeenth, so we have first place against last place. I think only in the NRL era, um, first versus last, last place getting win has only happened like five times. If this happens, this will be the upset of the year. I think it's happened only like five or six occasions, five or six occasions for last place winning against first place. If it happens, I I'm going to be blown away, but I don't think that's going to happen this week. Anyways, Melbourne are $1.23 favourites. 
And Tigers are $4.20 outsiders. Melbourne have won eight of the last 10 games against the Tigers, winning the last six games. Last time Tigers won against Melbourne was in 2018, where Tigers won 11 points to 10 against Melbourne. And that now is that Mount Smart Stadium? Okay. Mount Smart Stadium must have been a doubleheader along with the Warriors and someone else. I don't know. This will also be the first time they still play at Leichhardt Oval since 2017. Last time these two played at Lyon Card, Melbourne won 22 14. That was in 2017. The last time the Tigers won at Lyon Card against Melbourne was 2015, where they won 34 16 against the Storm. So, interesting stats there, but obviously, I will favour Storm after that beltering loss against the Bruces. Uh, I can see the Tigers just being nothing but wooden spooners for, free, for the third time in a row. Melbourne to win by 13 plus. Melbourne to win by 26 points. Melbourne to win 42 16. I'm being a bit fair with the Tigers at least. Try scorers, we will go. Uh, we'll go for Lungo. I think he will be playing this week for Melbourne. And then for the Tigers, we will go. I think he will be back. We'll go Justin Ollum to score. So, Melbourne to kill the Tigers. Alrighty, now we move on to the last game and the main event on oh, Super Saturday, Saturday, and in my opinion, will be the game of the round. We have a top eight clash. We have seven, oh sorry, not a top eight clash, but close enough. We have seven versus ninth. We have the seventh place North Queensland Cowboys taking on a ninth place Manly Warringah Seagulls. That was my error. Manly are in ninth, not in eighth. Cowboys are in seventh. Manly coming off the Second buy in round 17. The week before, lost to my boys, the Rabbitohs, in a shit game. They were held scoreless. That's actually the second time we've held Manly scoreless um, in 75 years back in 1949. That um, I was shocked to hear about that, but Manly lost to the Rabbitohs 14-0 back in round 16. Uh so mainly our outsiders at two dollars and seven cents, and the Cowboys are favourites at a dollar seventy nine. Now this game is taking place from Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Now note the fact this will be the third game these two will play at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Mainly have won on both occasions, first in 2020-24-12, and then the other game in two thousand twenty one when they won forty six eighteen. Since then, they have not played at Queensland Country Bank Stadium since 2021. So this is going to be this is be a this is going to be a great game, no doubt. In the past ten games between the two, it has been five games apiece, with merely winning four of the last six, which includes winning four straight. However, me Cowboys have won both um, have won the last two games. The last time these two played were at Brook. At four points back, which I was there for that game, funny enough, that my first time Brookie. Cowboys won 988, and then the back in 2022. Cowboys won by two, 28 26. In a really close contest there. <laughs> so I think I believe honestly, this is going to be the toughest game to tip this round. It's going to be the hardest one to pick. But I've made my mind up. Now, Turbo is expected to return for this game, but it's been said he's going to play in the centres, which that's going to be interesting to reduce of him getting injured or something like that. But I think I will go to Cowboys for this one. Honestly, Cowboys have been on the road. They've really impressed me. They've beaten the Cow they've beaten the Panthers. They've beaten the Roosters. And... Oh shoot! I forgot the other team who they. No, oh, yeah, they beat they beat the Raiders on the road as well. That's just been impressive. And now Cowboys for the next three games they got three home games in a row. Oh, lucky them. So for this game, I will be backing the Cowboys to win this one. Cowboys to win by six. Score line I'm going to go twenty. We'll go twenty six twenty. Try scorers for both. We will go Kyle Felt for the Cowboys. And merely in his return game, we'll go Tom Tafoyevich. If Turbo doesn't play, then I will go Ruben Garrick. 
he will be back for this one after, unfortunately, he was con he was concussed a few weeks back. But he will be back for this game for, for Meanly. So Ruben Garrick to score for Meanly. This will be a cracking contest. Cowboys to win by six. Alrighty, now we move on to Sunday ticket. The first of two games kicking off at 2 p.m. at Allianz Stadium. We have the Anzac Day Clash rematch between the fourth place Sydney Roosters against the Sir George Illawarra Dragons, who are back in the top eight in eighth place. If the Cowboys mainly is going to be game around, then surely this one will be game around, no doubt. But I reckon the, f the first one I said will be the game around. Anyways, both teams coming off wins. Um, back in round 17. Dragons shockingly beating the Dolphins 26 points to 6. Scoring 20 unanswered points in the second half. I think it was 20 points. And as for the Roosters, they killed the Tigers 40 points to 6. Whoever tipped the Tigers for that one, get fucked. That was the worst performance I've seen the Tigers um, this year. That was such an awful game. After coming off... Um, after uh, uh, after beating the Raiders and Titans in back to back weeks, what the fuck? Anyway, um, getting sidetracked here with um Tigers, Roosters are favourites at a dollar twenty two. Dragons are at four dollars thirty. In the past ten games between the two, um, Roosters have won eight of the last ten, which includes winning three of the last four games. Funny enough, in fact. In the last 18 clashes, back backing all the way to 2015, Roosters have won 13 of the 18 games. And when it comes to the wins for the Dragons since 2015, they've only won on Anzac Day in four of those five occasions. The only time the Dragons have won outside of Anzac Day was last year where they beat the Roosters at Cogra 24-22. Uh, Dragons don't really w win against the Roosters outside of Anzac Day, of course. But, geez, that's a unique stat there. If we go before the 2023 game, the last time the Dragons won, that was not Anzac Day other than last year, was the 2010 Grand Final. What the fuck? That's the last time the Dragons... Beat the Roosters. That wasn't on Anzac Day. And, uh, and yes, um, and also another game in 2010 where they won 9-12. And that was not on Anzac Day. That was on August 8th. That's just ridiculous. That's a that's a really unique stat there, which I did not realise. So, so Dragons have only won one game outside of Anzac Day in the last few games against the Roosters. That's just terrible for them. Anyway... Who I see winning this one, I think this, compared to their first game back earlier this year on Anzac Day, I think this is going to be a close game. Dragons have been getting better, but they're yeah, they're hit and miss the dra um the Dragons. I will back the Roosters to play it safe. We'll go to Roosters to win by twelve. Scoreline will go thirty points to eighteen. Try scorers will go Zach Lomax and James Tedesco. So. This should be an interesting clash. And can the Dragons get their first win outside of Ma outside of Anzac Day other than last year? Probably not. Anyways, Roosters to win by 12. Alrighty, now we move on to our final game of Sunday and the final game of Round 18. We have, we're heading down to the nation's capital. In We've got the 12th place Canberra Raiders taking on the 11th place Newcastle Knights. Raiders coming off another loss, this time to the Storm at Amy Park, losing 16-6. As for the Knights, they finally snapped their three-game losing streak. Come back to beat the Paramount Eels in a high-scoring great game, 34-26 at McDonald Jones. Um, back on Saturday night, I think it was. Oh, it's Saturday 5.30, I meant, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is going to be another game we can go either way as well. It's really close in the odds. At the moment, the Knights are just the favourites at $1.90. And the Raiders are at $1.94. Um, in the past 10 games between the two, Newcastle... Sorry, Camp... Yeah, yeah Newcastle won 6 off the last 10. 
Richard Cottage winning three out of the last four games. However, Canberra did beat the Knights earlier in the year. Canberra did win 28-12 against the Knights up in Newcastle earlier in the year. Oh, golly. And funny enough, Newcastle have also lost three of the last four games at G GIO Stadium as well. So this is going to be another tough game to pick as well. Yeah, Raiders have lost their last three games in a row. They have not won since Brown Fernand when they beat the Dolphins 26-25. So once again, this is going to be a tough game to pick, honestly. But I thought about it. I'm going to be backing the home side. I know Knights just won, but this game could go either way. And, you know, Knights are unpre unpredictable as well. So I will back the Raiders for this one. I think they will sack the free game losing streak finally. I'll go to Raiders to win by four. Score, we will go 18-14. I don't think this will be a um, high-scoring game. Um... Try scorers for both. We'll go Greg Marcy for the Knights and for the Raiders. We will go. We'll go Hudson Young. Yep. So Raiders to win against the Knights by four. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude my round eighteen NRL tipping video two thousand twenty four. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We are less than 10 subscribers away from reaching 1,600. Let's hope we can get there before the end of, before the start of the Rabbitohs Eagles game. Anyways, guys, I'm getting out of here. Don't forget, I will be live streaming a few other games after Thursday. On Thursday, I will be attending Rabbitohs Eels. My third time at Combank. My first time going to Combank for Rabbitohs Eels. Can't wait to be there. We're four in a row. Hopefully, to make it five. If you're if you're there, might see you there. Anyways, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay tuned for the vlog on Thursday. Anyways, up the rabbit eyes and see you all in the next one.